Wow, incredible quick little video here. I was having problems. I've switched over to ungoogled Chromium here. This is the ungoogleified version. Uh, and I got two tips for you. So, tip number one. Uh, you're going to need to download all of your CRX files, which is the Chrome extension file for all the extensions that you want to use. I've installed, uh, these are kind of my go-tos. Uh, you need auto scroll for Linux. If you want to scroll with your middle mouse, which is what I normally do, I leave it on three. Three is my favorite option for that. But uh, these, are, these are the essentials. You're gonna need thin scroll bar, auto scroll, Better Twitch TV, Privacy Badger, this guy gets CRX, you block HTTPS everywhere, and decentralize. So uh, there were a couple issues here. Get CRX. Uh, I don't use, there's another one that has like a yellow icon. This is the one that I recommend because you can get this. You're going to copy that to your clipboard and then you're going to download CRX. Uh, you're going to find something like this that lets you uh, type in a URL and then it will grab the CRX file for you. Uh, doesn't matter that it can't be installed because all we needed was it to be downloaded. I didn't use this site personally, I used uh, this one. Same thing, just paste it in. This is all you need. This is the first guy that you want. This minimizes attack surface. If you wanted to too, you could download uh, the CRX yourself by like screwing with the URL. Uh, I trust these guys enough to not inject some crazy malicious stuff into uh, the get CRX extension that you're not gonna be using very much anyway, so. Uh, Download this, then for most of these, you'll be able to grab them normally. Uh, just through Chrome Store, you get something like uh, Stylus is another one that I probably need. Uh, but since the user agent, I think, is not, it doesn't come up as Chrome, there's no way to add it. So what you want to do is right click and get the CRX. Uh, some of them won't show up with the title, like the CRX file isn't able to be downloaded. An example of that is HTTPS Everywhere. Uh, this and Privacy Badger both have the same problem, and they're also not able to be downloaded with the uh, with any of those sites that grab the CRX file for you. So, in that case, uh, HTTPS Everywhere has it right on the page. Uh, they have the most recent releases here, but for Privacy Badger, let's go Badger. On here, you they don't offer it right on the front page, but if you go to the FAQ and then search for the CRX, uh, you can download it from here. And I'm guessing that they update this. You might have to because it's going to open and try and interpret this as uh, binary, or as not a binary, but as like text of some kind. So that's wrong. This this is what happens when you open like an exe file in Notepad. You should be familiar with this sort of deal. But just download it and add it to Chrome by going to uh, your settings or and typing extensions. They made this fairly difficult to get to as well, which I find kind of strange. Uh, maybe there's an easier way. For some reason, it, it isn't listed up here. I think it should be uh, instead of putting it down here. Why isn't, why isn't it up here with the rest of the boys down here? Anyway, just drag and drop from your downloads bar or open it in your file manager and drag those bad boys in, whatever. Bitwarden, I'm going to talk about this more one day. Bitwarden's really good. If you're using LastPass or Dashlane or something, you should consider switching to Bitwarden, and I'll have a video on that one day too. But anyways, the, the homies that you are going to want, Privacy Badger, Decentralize, HTTPS Everywhere, Get CRX, Thin Scroll, 
uh, uBlock Origin, whatever else it is that you need, better Twitch TV, auto scroll, Bitwarden, blah, 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 whatever. Another thing that I do, now this is going to minimize your security a little bit, but for me at least, I like things staying across sessions. You can add sites individually to allow them to add cookies, like these three are allowed to add cookies because I enabled them, but there are some sites where you won't get the pop-up, and adding everything individually is a bit of a pain in the ass, so... I, this comes enabled by default in uh, on Google Chrome. I would switch this off, but that's I I wouldn't build it any differently if I it was me myself. Obviously, it just makes more sense to uh, have you lower your security than have you have to up it. So that was the first thing. Extensions number two is that you might not have emoji fonts, which was a big problem for me. Uh, so for example, if you don't have an emoji font, this is just gonna show up as a box, and it's the same on uh, with most other things too, like if there was Korean or Chinese or something, and you don't have the language installed on your system, it's gonna show up as you know a little box some kind like that right like obviously when i uh am in my multitasker here the multitasker doesn't have an emoji font for the crab but i was able to uh emoji they got a couple fonts in here on void i'm sure that there are some for arch and everything else too uh noto fonts is the google one and it works the best because it actually comes in color. This Twemoji package here, at least on uh, Void, is just black and white. It doesn't come in color, so I would suggest this one. I ran away from Chrome because, or from Firefox because it just kept crashing on me, so got this now. So anyway, uh, that's how you get set up. I don't know why I wanted to make this, but I thought it might help somebody. Peace.